Right, well, folks, we're just having the presentation. Is our sponsor. We can't look into that sponsor. So, representing the lead to succeed, pass it round of applause, please, for Jacqueline Henderson. Thank you. Okay, so we start with the semi finalist, ladies and gentlemen, of this uh, World Open Singles. Uh, first of all, representing the club, local club here in Stanley, Brett Harvey, as he gets the final title. Well done to Brett. Fantastic game against Mr. Uh, Bolt. Another semi finalist from Scotland, also receiving a check for £75, is John McCrow. John McClory probably played the ball of the weekend to beat Gary Smith. And his form of course the only has to be a runner up to the group of runner up. But Orin has a place for the offers in the open pairs that's from the Falcon of the Lights of Massive Bowl from that. But your runner up in the singles also in Scotland is John McCutchinson and you see the check for the Christian. Well done to John. As Jason says, John's already down to Potters in the Pass. And now we move to the, the winner, who receives, well, it should be a check for £250, but he owns £250, so <laughs> <laughs> a check for £230, and a place in the World Championships in January at Potters is from England, David Fox. Uh, congratulations to me, right hand man. Fantastic stuff. Well deserved. Just before you jump back over to the juniors, a massive thank you again to Sam Hugo Holtz for hosting this event. A massive thank you to you, Jackie, as well. You can let your colleagues Well done to Jackie, and I could be linked to succeed. It's tremendous to, to see that she's an avid follower of balls. Um, it's great to see that she's involved in the balls. Rob Ice Bowl Podcast World of 25 last 16. Ring number one, George Brogan and George Brooks. Ring number two, Robert Carruthers and Carl Banks. Ring number three, Brian Henderson and Daniel Poole. Ring number four, Tom Leslie and Anthony Booth Young. Ring number five, Liam Nicholson and Chloe Smith. Ring number six, Darren Weir and Paul Stroll. Ring number seven, Josh Rowe and Dean Reaver on the streaming rate for all the ladies, Beth Reaver and Nicole Rogers. We can start to see each other now. Very much as we Well, here we go, folks, for the. We see the kids, we see the young talent on shore, and it is the 125s, they're down to the last 16. Our featured game on on ring eight will be two players who you saw yesterday, two cracking young female bowlers, Scotland's Beth Reaver and Nicole Rogers. Now I'm just going to. David on, will you find it up? Yes, ma'am. Sorry, we'll do with the PD year in back in two seconds. Just have there a little bit of a photo moment going on here. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
That's a nice one. Right, there were two young stars today. I'm just going out there, try ends in a moment. <laughs> we saw them both in action yesterday. We'll run through the, the full list of the, the games that we are on the green. The marker, the marker is Bernie Hill. <laughs> so this is the last 16 of the under 25s. There is, of course, one golden ticket available, allegedly. So, who we have? We have Beth Raver, you probably seen her yesterday. She was tremendous when she played Boris Dunlop on this rink. And only to lose out in the quarterfinals. And on the mat there is England's Nicole Rogers, who was equally impressive. Taking on one of the event organisers, Martin Gill. to lose out to Stanley's Brett Arkley. Now if, if you remember the co-commentator when Beth was playing was um, Beth's brother Dean, winner of The Voice apparently. Uh, well you can see him by the feed there, he's actually got the green shirt he's playing next door. Keep an eye on Dean as well. I will be joined in the comedy box by Monsieur Bolt. <coughs> again, many thanks to everybody who's watched the stream. As I say, it's just nice to get some live balls out there on the Sunday. chance to see some of the the young talent which does exist in the sport I know the media does paint the sport in not the best light at times but these are the occasions that we should be getting out I would love to cover the 125 international series something like that just just one game just to just to show the enthusiasm these humans have fantastic sound like a right old fart talking here now Record. Beth plays with Aero Groove, size 3, while Nicole is using Tiger Vector VS, size 1. Both, both 
England international under 25 internationals. Their profile, they both represented their countries at um, under 18s as well. And it's good to see that they've actually stuck with the game and the experience that they both gained yesterday in the, the full draw will hold them stead. under 25s draw for you and we have got uh, George Rogan playing John Sprout, Robert Carruthers is playing Carla Banks, Brian Henderson is playing Daniel Poole, Tom Leslie is playing Anthony Booth Young, Liam Nicholson is playing Chloe Smith, that's Liam who missed out in the semi-finals yesterday, Darren Weir is playing Ollie Sloan Josh Roe playing Dina Reva and Be Dean Reva, Dina Reva, he'll come off and punch me lights out calling him Dina, Dean Reva and Beth Reva's playing the Rogers. Yeah. Yeah. And Liam lost in the quarterfinals before anybody says, he lost in the quarters, not the semis. Folks, I'm sure this is going to be a, a cracking little game. So we go on the last 16 of the under 25s, and we're away and running. players have opted to play exactly the same hands this way that they did yesterday. To make the journey. Three for two. So 
Yeah, the ball sat down, so it's... I'll tell you down, your legs are gone and everything. Just a bit of a measure. Journey, but be close for shot. Joined by me, right hand man. Well done, Matt. Thank you very much. Very good. Well placed for you. Thanks, Matt. We're all missed. Anything off first end? Jump. Hey. First end, I've missed nothing. <laughs> Spot the mug who's wearing the hoodie in the sauna, that's called Stanley. I'm sweltering. I think he's sitting next to us, he is. On the nick all you congratulations from Mr. Minto and Michael Jones. All passed on there. Congratulations to you, Matt. Thank you. Much appreciated. Should be a cracking game. We've seen both of these girls on this ring over the last uh, 24 hours, haven't we? We have. They've had a, I think they've had a good weekend. Yeah, oh, definitely. Like Two great players. They've done well in the uh, the main draw. And of course, Beth's brother Dean playing next door as well. from Nicole. That's just going to touch, touch on the high side. Good here if she's up. Yeah, yeah great ball. Well played. Great ball. Now well, quite a few international players, junior international players on the show today. Uh, anybody at a loss in the Stanley area or the Durham area, just pop along, it's free to come in. I'm sure the the young guns will appreciate your support. Quite a high line for Nicole. Oh, she's gone in. Got the Brighton line. <laughs> it's 
They're going to laugh. And look, luckily, we never got it on film. I tell a lie. <laughs> I know you, Beth. She needs to run. Couldn't get past. Three days in the call. Third end. I'll do my best to try to keep up to date with what's happening elsewhere on the green. Good reply as well. Now I'll play it. said Jim Comte mate when we were watching you that first set you four nothing down and then when you went six four we looked at me and GS and looked at each other and we said the jack that was the absolutely yeah. yeah absolutely and, and, and we were talking, we were talking after the game it was you get so into the game I clean forgot about it and to be honest with you it was a massive massive turning point wasn't it of course you got the first set out of the way and then of course you, you, you had the jack for the second set so <laughs> I did. He still, I he still couldn't get it back. I nearly stupidly gave it away. Now I, <laughs> I did. <laughs> thankfully, thankfully, I saw a little bit of sense quick enough. <laughs> I think it was one of those as well. You know, it was. It was. I hadn't played many of those lengths over the weekend. To be fair, and it was like lightning that little shorter length. Yeah. Um, but when we were into the game I started to get the pace a lot better when he when he went back to that for the first time and I think I scored the first time he he got back to his length didn't I? Yeah. Great effort from Beth. Cracking head. See the jack just above that furthest back ball. Back ball's about four or five inches past, so it's not nailed on. Nicole coming down our forehand. Oh, 
we say six, I think so. That must have been one behind as we go into the fourth end. Speaking to speaking to Brett and Nicole had um, asked asked somebody prior prior to coming up to Stanley what's the grain like and somebody says it's absolutely flying and the rinks are massive and uh, obviously this was back in the days when it was a green 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 <laughs> so I think she got a little bit of a shock it wasn't as big as what she expected it's it's played really well over the weekend got to say. Hasn't been a rink where you can't play balls on, that's for certain. Cole just pulling up a little short. warmer as the the morning's gone on mate. It has, it was warm it was warm out there this morning definitely. Taking on as much water as I could. Ball here from Beth. Yeah well played. I want to get out for a shot or is it Nicole's got a decent line coming in here, eh? she's not bad at all. Yeah, well played. Take up the jack, probably he's just made it the one. As Bernie confirms. Second, if she gets on the back wall, no, just on the outside oh, of it. Got, it's got the wrong side of it. Probably only one anyway. Yep, it is. So that's seven blanc. And as we go into the fifth end. Oh, ah, fantastic start. Well she played this hand very well in our in our last game on here, didn't she? she yesterday, did, yeah. played it really well. Against uh, Martin Gale, wasn't it? Just, just sticking with that outer hand. I think she's just, just 
Plin is a bit deep at the minute. Mm, and fell on it all like she did with against Morris. Credit to Dean in the first game we streamed yesterday because he absolutely lapped that hand up both ways. But for me, without a doubt, the, the ditch hand's the one, the more consistent one. I think you don't get, it doesn't look as if you get punished as much if you miss your line a little bit on the. Well, I was kicking myself a few times because I was playing great, great weight coming in the opposite direction of what we can see now and I was forever cutting under about 18 inches if I missed it by a ball. Yeah. If you could get right out of the edge you were pretty pretty much guaranteed to get back into the middle. Yeah. From Beth I think she might be still two down. Just got the wide line and it's the only signal and it's only one. It's a better line from Beth. She's up. Just need a bit of the trip. Just cutting on the great try. Probably looking to get under this back wall. A bit to come down with these vectors. Uh, it's flying down. Oh, what a ball! Well played. <laughs> I'll have a tea, please. Both with their milk? Yes, please. No sugar, thank you. No sugar. No sugar. No sugar. Both sweet enough. That's right. Absolutely. No bitter and twisted here. Very close here, Beth. <laughs> you had a big ball here. Oh, crack. Oh, what a oh, ball, that is. Fantastic. Big fantastic. Three. Now, if Dean was in the commentary box here, he'd be <laughs> out of the seat, man. <laughs> he'd be on the green high five and He'd be out of the seat. He'd be high five and of course, that's Dean Reaver, the winner of The Voice, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody who was running into the pool with that yesterday. the sixth end now, seven three. Probably still needs to, to grab a double here, I would think. Yeah, she wants to. It's nice to have that opportunity of a two to get something out of the set. Anything more is a bit of an uphill battle. Another good start. Daniel Poole has took the first set against Brian Henderson. <laughs> the line coming in from Nicole. Yeah, she runs, she's there. Yep, yeah, on the back yeah. of it. Great adjustment. Down. Be close for shot. Yeah. Last ball it is. Just 
looking for system with that back end. Just needs to get out. Get out and arrive. Time out, isn't she? Just hanging out. Off the ball and down. Oh, great 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 try. saying yesterday that those wrong buyers stickers or in all good stockers for £25 a pair if they can get made of potters <laughs> sure I think we're going to have to whack them up with 50 <laughs> Shine the back of them yeah, I, don't think, I don't think they'll come off again ever Wrong <laughs> 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 buyers stickers I've seen on live streaming I'm going to spray hairspray on them <laughs> Well, the shots down the ditch and Beth, I would think, to the trail on the way. You haven't played it much. Got a decent line, mate. Oh, she's very close, eh? Very, very close. It cuts right at the death as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Played a stonking ball here. Oh, oh ball. fantastic. Well played. She's played two absolute humdingers the last two ends. Seeing so, so any really sticks in the air. And Looks like a three to me. Yep, there it is. is. I think I know what I'd be doing with these three balls straight down, down the backhand. Straight down that other side, mate. Beth, please don't take a step to your right, otherwise, we'll be getting your brother on you. <laughs> uh, she needs a hand. Yep, she's got the front now. Yep, what a comeback this is in the set. To be fair, it's not through anything Nicole's done wrong, it's just what Beth's done right. Two great balls. Back to back threes, mate. Yeah. Dean would have been through the roof with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Final end of the first set. Just remember, I haven't said something. That's the format is <laughs> <laughs> two sets of seven ends. That'd be a three end tiebreaker. Goes on the number of ends in the tiebreaker, not the number of shots. And for those who are asking about the two tees, there is a three meter tee for the PBN, the World Balls, which they use. And the re-spot you can see is probably in line with Beth's ball at the moment, either side. Yeah, good effort from Beth. Just looking to get a little touch on this jack if she can. Decent line, mate. She needs to burn, I'll tell you what, Very she's close again. What Very a close. ball this is again. Very close. Oh man, Fantastic a life. ball. What a oh, ball. Tremendous. She's maybe just run a little bit too far, has she? from Nicole here, it is. down to her pace. Oh, she's not up. Doesn't like it. She's not up. The 
this could be a, a huge psychological blow if she was to lose from the position she was in. for a double here and a satellite. Sticking with the forehand. And he's the non-retiring President El Chairman of Stanley Indoor Bowling Club, fetching allegedly. President Cappuccino, yeah. allegedly. President Chairman <laughs> does the Hoover run, washes up. Thank you very much, kind sir. There's 26 mile charity walks for the club, everything. It's fit as a lot, this bloke. Fit as a lot. Have you seen him yet? 85 year old, he doesn't look a day over 30. Fit as a lot, he is. So big ball here big from Nicole. Ball here for Nicole. Oh, yeah. Like you say, mate, seven well, nothing. Seven nothing up. <laughs> well, I'd say if she's on a crack in the line. I don't Let's think she's get getting out. back. That could be set gone. Another three, is it? Three threes off the bounce. She's had some dim. Two shots. You two, well. The beauty of set play, mate. Seven nothing down to win the set. Eight seven up. Fantastic comeback. I'll drop, a, I'll drop an email to the Queen later, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrong bias podcast. Going to get banned off all air. <laughs> took off. Took off. <laughs> On Her Majesty's orders. <laughs> <laughs> in the tower. We're in the tower. It's over. <laughs> First set that was, mate. Just rattle through some of the other scores. On ring four, Tom Leslie has just took the first set against Anthony Booth Lloyd. Young. Young. I keep calling them Lloyd. You do. Some politician. <laughs> um, Liam Nicholson has took the first set against. Chloe Smith and my co-commentator of yesterday, Dean Reaver, has took the first set off Josh Rowe. Robert Carruthers has took the first set of Carla Banks. stream Thomas because the stream looks all right we've had nobody else has kicked to say that it's froze so you might have to just reload your Facebook page or internet page same as if it's okay all same fine online as well our end uh, question for you from Alan Boyd what balls do you use making size mate size three and a half arrow groups Oh my 
in one here. Maybe he's Still playing that inside line, and I'll tell you what, she's close again, Ned, with this ball as she runs. She's up, she's shot ball. Oh, absolutely, very close here. Yeah. Just catching and, the front catch and the front of the ball. Yeah, she's got the wrong the side of it. On the nickel, that stops the rot. Wife has said it's freezing for her a little bit as well. She thinks it's the back camera. Top camera. Oh, we've got the. Uh, All seems well, doesn't it? All seems well at here. I'll keep an eye on it. Just, uh, just drop us a comment if it uh, if it happens, but it does seem okay on mine. I must say. Reply from Beth. I know just at the uh, the last stages of your game of the final that the top camera did play up a little bit. Play just a little bit, but then uh, I think it was just the uh, the Wi-Fi speed it dropped and it just picked itself back up again. So everything green at our end. from these two junior internationals. Two credits to the sport from what I've seen in the last two days. Really, really good player. Ten, uh, John Sprott looks like he's took the first set on ring one against George Rogan. And on ring six, Darren Williams took the first set against Ollie Sloan. I think that's... Uh, up to deal with everybody. Oh, he's better on close, the close the two balls, I'll tell you. Get the white. Oh, oh, she's away. Don't think corner. she's run too far away from the spot, neither. I'm sure it was Liam, Liam Nicholson's game where he was, the jack went in the corner. We go playing on forehand, the ball is on its way, you'll see it any minute. On the, on the wide scenic route. Just not going to get back into that, it. pulling up short as well. Could be still. Last ball to come, at least two, would you say? Could be still two, yeah. Just want to, you just want to, players, if you play into the centre of the ring and just pass the tee with a yard, get you a point, nothing fancy. No point in getting too close. If it's two, Nicole's going to be a bit disappointed at uh, dropping the slack two here, I think. Pick 
you draw a line, don't think about getting close and just pass the balls. Certainly done the first bit. Pace doesn't look bad at all. Uh, and the second bit's looking it's pretty good as well. Out. Yeah, you go up, great stuff. Yeah, great well ball. played. Three, yeah. Up three it is. She's on a bit of a run with these threes, isn't she? She yep. does do things by half. <laughs> First set. <coughs> Won the first set after two and seven nothing. Do back to back threes and a double. Saying about this sticking a little bit, I'm, I'm, I'm watching it on mine at the moment, and it's, it seems fine. Like, but strange old technology bugs. If it gets really bad, what we'll do? We'll stop the stream and start it again. Is okay at our end. says her seems okay now she came out of Facebook and went back on and that seems to be fine champion <laughs> champion says the voice champion oh, Nicole will you get down oh, needs dead weight just needs to toddle oh. Sunday mornings and my wife using common sense I've never been known it's never been known <laughs> Uh, thanks for that Ross Ross has just sort of said it. he says the stream's perfect so he's, he's advised to obviously come out and go back in again um, and I think a few people have done that and seems to have worked for them so that's Thank great you. appreciate that Ross that's line a double big ball for Nicole here I think mate doesn't want to be dropping another two a three if this runs. This looks perfect. Oh, she's played another banger here. Right in. Great balls, man. Great balls. Check with Bernie. Oh, she's keeping the lollipops to myself. We'll go for two. <laughs> I hope they don't ever come up with a family triples or a family fours. They might as well just give Alex a trophy. <laughs> Dean, Raver, Beth, Raver, Alex. Uh, but Alex will have to go lead. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Beth absolutely. Skip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got a bit finished. He's very close in it. Oh, what a cracking effort here. What a tremendous effort. Oh, oh dear geez, me. Listen. My giddy answer. Is that another three? Fantastic try. 
Mr. Parkinson, he can't help himself, can he? What's he saying now? E pet, bolt, he finally doing some work. So <laughs> <laughs> out. Dale's asking roughly what time the final schedule for Richie? It's quarter five. Quarter five ish, give or take. And another three there to, to Beth. And uh, six one up, won the first set. Three is certainly the magic number for Beth. What's that? I thought it would be our fifth, is it? <laughs> yeah. Right. Fourth or fifth? Fourth, three? I think. Right. Again, I've got to reiterate, it's been a fantastic game. It's not for it's not for Nicole struggling. She's getting some great balls. Beth's just pounding this uh, inside, aren't it? I think she's only bought one ball down down to the side. Yeah. Oh, here we go. PBA, question for Davy. Look at him laughing at himself. <laughs> Look at him chuckling over there at himself. <laughs> How much is the chilli and rice? Crack an open ball. Nicole just needs to run. Mm. Yeah, good finish. Finished well. Struggling with this length, match she is now. Nicole needs yeah. to score this end, really. A 6 1, four, fourth end. Looks on a good line here. If she holds on, she's very close. And if she holds on, she's very close. Or oh, just not quite enough. I think I'd be tempted to maybe just follow her in here. If she can get that gap, it takes the head completely. The way that last ball's sitting. And she's sticking with her open hand. Just feel she's maybe left Nicole a little take out for a three or four here. Plays this with the right pace. Uh, will she bend this? Well, I don't think she's going to get no, out. It hangs down there. Oh, oh straight through the gap. 7-1. Comeback's going to come, it's going to have to be a big end, mate. Yeah. As we go into the fifth end, 7 1. That's what Nicole needs. Seven shots out of these. Last three ends. As if Mr. Arkley hasn't done enough over the last couple of days, he's out there marking a game, which is credit to him and credit to all the markers that's been here this weekend. Yeah. yeah. They have never stopped all of them. Credit to the club. 
Great start from Beth. Turning the screw. Great start again. Carl's just she's just missing that line, isn't she? Do you think the vectors were a little bit stiff, Matt? Well, I think she's obviously. I, I don't know if she normally plays with them, but she's bought the, brought them on the advice of what the green used to be like, right. rather than what it is now. Um, I know she was in. She had a bit of a roll up on Friday, Friday night. To be fair, she's she's played very well with them. She absolutely lapped this hand up against uh, Martin. Yeah. Just think it's a little bit quicker to do. Poss yes, possibly, Matt. Uh, she's weird in there. Yep, great ball. Up over. One each uh, Ring five is over. It looks like uh, Liam Nicholson beat Chloe Smith two to Blanc. She's placing the quarters. I'll tell you what, Beth's played another absolute ripper here. Oh, well oh, played. That's tremendous, man. Great stuff. Great stuff. I think Beth will wish you could play on Rink all the time, yes. <laughs> yes, it's absolutely too. tremendous. Yes. The cars are far away. Oh, just, just, just a bit in. I, th I think definitely. I think it's just that maybe a yard quicker than it was yesterday, and it seems to be just doing a little bit more down that hand. Yeah. She was tending to find quite a quite a narrow line underneath that ditch yesterday. And it wasn't kicking away for. Her. to your question Ronnie uh, the draw for the potters I'm led to believe is probably taking place on Wednesday I think Jason said during the last stream it's going to be taking place at Carlisle could be yeah, indoor bowling club I think Trevor Taylor and Stuart Airy possibly if I remember rightly oh they've got dancing girls doing the draw <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully that answers your question mate if I'm wrong I'll uh, I'll find out off, off Jason, whether, whether he's zooming it, whether he's live streaming it, I don't know what, what he's doing, but I will find out. Well, I'm sure he'll probably answer the question himself because he's probably watching the text come through for the stream. Ball of this uh, this game, man. Yeah. She's going quick. Oh, she oh, struck well. She struggled well, but oh, as the chap going, there's one blue ball stopped yeah, on. She's. Uh, I think she's still shut nice down. Up. You needed another three or four rolls in that. I think the back ball's probably done it. Yeah. Great game of balls, girls. Really great that, game of balls. That is that. Seven, eight, ah, she can still, she can still. Ah, she can, yeah. I think Nicole was just going to shake hands there, but yeah. we've had a look at it and she can still, yeah. Eight shots. Sixth end. Just stay in the competition. Nicole needs two fours. Uh, another 
terrific start. Now, oh, Nicole, you've got to create a four out of somewhere. Well, she can't, certainly can't be short. Uh, she's played a positive ball with her first. It's the old cunning plan, mate, isn't it? So they don't see it. <laughs> you put them all at the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Beth straight away just covering that back position. Oh, that looks under. I have to push it. She, oh, she's holding it, mind. Oh, it she's got it. The white. How has she had that? What a ball. What oh, a ball. It keeps her alive. Nice. She's forced Beth onto the ditch side. She hasn't played it. She's sorted it out. Ross McCart saying the Aussies will be back for another tilt at Potters. Was Kelvin Kalkirk our the last Australian to win it? And I don't believe Kelvin did win the World Championships. He did win a major um, WBT title, but I would have thought it will be Schubach, yeah. Oh, Schubach will be the last. She's put her head in her hands. She's dropped it short. She run. could not afford to drop one short. She's sniffing. Oh, I don't know. She's going to struggle to make a four out of that now. And, uh, push. Give you, I'm going to give me a little soapbox comment in a minute after this. Right. Just an observation across the green. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I think you're off. This is all. I don't think she's up. Thank you, sir. She's not Don't reach it. Interesting. I think she's probably got to come down the seven side and just get a little three quarter on a front ball and hope to run on to make the four. Unless she can get that ball solid and steer. You think ditch hand mate or yeah? Well I'm not sure whether the, I'm not uh, sure whether Beth's middle ball there on the close to the centre line is beating Nicole's last ball. If it is, she's got a chance to play a backhand stun, but it's a low percentage one, whichever it is. Yeah, I think the way she's walking back to the mat as well, I think she she realises this is going to be a, a, sh a shot in a million. She's kicking herself after that third ball, isn't yeah. she? she? She knew. I think she's going to come down her forehand by the way she's indicated there, mate. Well, she's, uh, she's let it go. Uh, oh my word. Oh my, oh, my word. My giddy <laughs> My word. <laughs> and she's made the four. She's got the four. Huh? There we go. Well, what do you know? What do we do? Mr. Marshall's just sent us a message a few, few minutes ago saying he cannot watch this game. He's <laughs> I think you might have just add kittens. <laughs> Can you remember on one of our podcasts where we done the blooper where you heard the, the glass smash the world? <laughs> I think there's probably another one gone. <laughs> another world championship wash hit the floor. <laughs> well, she's given, has. she's given herself a chance. I'll tell you what, you wouldn't have been able to pick that shot out, mate, no. would you? We, we, well, yeah, you had to nominate her like two. <laughs> the way it happened. <laughs> Just sure as anything can happen. Oh. I suppose the beauty of this is that 
Bess has got the last ball, mate. Yeah, great start from Nicole. Start. If you're going to try and get a four, there's a way to start it. Start it. Just looking on ring one, it looks like John Sprout beat George Rogan, possibly two to Blanc. And then if you want to protect the four, there's a cunning way to start it as well. <laughs> <laughs> what a game this has been. Game on ring three between Brian Anderson and Daniel Poole. Looks like it's gone to tiebreak. And it looks like it might be ones apiece after after two tiebreaks and they've got a ball each left. Oh and why is there Nick Ollie that one? I would have thought Beth will just look to cover that last ball. She's up past it, yeah. There we go. Got problems now, Nicole. Four out the last end. I don't want to. I don't want to be a bearer of bad news, but I don't think who's need to get out of this one. I don't know where she goes to get a four out of this. Got to manufacture something now, but probably needs the. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> exactly that. that. <laughs> kills the front ball. Yeah. She really it as well. I don't think there was anywhere she could have changed that to make a, make a chance of a four, the way it was set up. I think Alex can breathe easy now. Yeah. Yeah, that's it for its purpose as well. See, now if we were posh like the WBT, we could have had old pens out and drawn all over this. <laughs> now you go straight up through the backhand, through that black ball, ploughs up through the blue, follows on, stops in its place and rolls up for a four. Could have drew the smiley faces, mate. How are you going to get them three out to stop in the head? Time would, I think that by the time we'd finished drawing on that, it would look like a wigwam, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Even the doctor doc wouldn't get that out. <laughs> uh, she's gone quick, on it? Yeah, I mean, the pace she's playing at any way, she's got to get something absolutely plumb. Yeah. Great game, though. Absolutely fantastic game. Yeah, tremendous. Oh. Well done, you sport. Well, that's... Uh, our live streaming done for the last 16. We we'll, should be back in about maybe it's five or ten minutes for the um, quarterfinals. We'll, we'll find out who we, we're getting for the quarterfinals. So thanks again for, for watching. Hope you're still enjoying it. Hope you're enjoying your Sunday dinner at quarter past one. Don't be if sitting in the chair and nodding off. If you are, please send us some. A couple of Yorkshire puddings, <laughs> a bit of roast beef. It would be lovely. <laughs> right, thanks, folks.